Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Well, 2017 is just about drawn to a close. I think it's like the 23rd of December at this point. And, you know, I was thinking, like, what do I want to do in 2018? Like, what are my goals? What, what do I want to accomplish as far as gaming is concerned? And I realized last year, you know, 2016, probably around um, you know, 7th of December, I made a video. And it went kind of like this. Hey kids, this is Ivan. How you doing? Well, 2016 is pretty much drawing to a close. So, huh. I saw a couple other people. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> so, went back and watched that video uh, recently and realized that I had accomplished every single thing uh, that I set out to do in 2016, you know, or, you know, in 2017, the you know, things I listed out at the end of, end of 2016. I was like, wow, that's amazing. Uh, right down to, you know, getting a different job. Like, and I managed to squeak in. You know, I started the new job on the 18th of December. It's going great. Uh, it's 8.30 uh, a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, weekends off. So, like, I have an official, like, normal job, normal schedule, because before I was working, like, 4 a.m. to 1 p.m., Wednesdays and Sundays off, it was really hard to coordinate schedules with anybody, you know, locally, never mind on the other side of the planet. Uh, I wanted to get involved in a play-by-post game. I did. It didn't go as long as I wanted it to, but it's okay. Sometimes those things fizzle out. Um, you know, give it another try. I wanted to get involved with a, a local group, you know, start, start more of a local group, and, you know, that I started to. Uh, once again, we had some schedule conflicts, and we're probably going to, you know, re, um, reconvene in the beginning of next year. And I want to keep on working on that. But I, but I managed to get something started, or at least, you know, get active with that, rather than just kind of sitting around wishing, and not really putting, you know, action in. So, you know, started to get things going with that. Um, I wanted to get some uh, competence with Ubiquity, and I managed to. In fact, I, you know, played in this all for one campaign all year long. Play with other games of Ubiquity. We've gotten pretty darn good at it. You know, I, I feel really comfortable running and playing in that system. So, you know, just, you know, chalk that off. It's, it's a lot of fun. I wanted to um, play some, you know, games online, and I played a bunch of games online. And, you know, I, I think I even exceeded, you know, the uh, my expectations or goals for that because, you know, what ended up happening is because um, I played in a bunch of games, talked to a bunch of people, um, you know. I wanted, you know, I talked about wanting to get together with some like-minded gamers. And, you know, what's what's happened, you know, slowly... Uh, little by little over over this last year is I've kind of you know assembled or or been you know part of uh, a group of people that have similar uh, similar bents you know not not all 100 percent congruous but you know kind of people that you can kind of say hey who is interested in this and people you know you can get a bunch of people together to play a game so I'm really enjoying that and I'm hoping to you know continue to expand that in this next year um, so. I think that was just about it. Oh, you know, sci-fi. Haven't actually got a chance to play sci-fi this year, but we've pretty much just about arranged the game. Uh, you know, I'm going to be playing some Uncharted Worlds probably in the beginning of 2018, but, you know, the four of us that are going to play that game are all pretty pumped to do that, so it should be fun. So I, I've got a lot of stuff um, done that I wanted to, you know, pretty much all of it. Uh, but I was thinking, like, what do I want to do this year? And so uh, somewhat of a big list, but, you know, I just want to talk about it really fast and see, you know, see how I do. <laughs> you know, at the at the end of the year, when I want to check this out, you know, in a year from now, um, I'd like to run uh, something like you know, it could be a short campaign or whatever, not just one shots, but some, some something like Kex, you know, Hollow Earth Expedition, or or Leagues of Adventure, like Leagues of Gothic Horror, Leagues of Cthulhu. Uh, it could be online, could be locally. You know, I'd like to be able to play in it too. Um, so see what happens. Maybe you can get a, a you know multiple GM situation going on. Um, but I like to do something like that that goes on for a while. It doesn't have to be a long mega campaign, but something that, you know, uh, more just a one-shot because I just love that system, love both those feels, that kind of pulp heroics and, you know, slightly different with the 1936, you know, uh, kind of Indiana Jones vibe of Hollow Earth Expedition and the kind of, you know, gothic 1890s, uh, you know, Leaves of Gothic Horror. But both are really compelling. And I think it just boils down to, like, whatever players I find or people I find that are interested in doing that, which are they most interested in? You know, it's, it's kind of like a toss-up, you know, which one I'd be most excited about because they're both great. Uh, it'd be great if I got to, to do it both, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, really want to, like, like I said, really kind of work on the local, um, a stable local group. I, you know, I'm really happy with what's happening um, online with people all over the world, but there are schedule conflicts and what have you. It'd be really neat to get a, you know, it doesn't have to be a big group, but a small group of people that were, we really gel, that we were in, you know, we, we'd be into like, hey, um, or willing to, hey, who wants to do this? Okay, you want to run that? And, and just, you know, have some fun that way. You know, I'd like to duplicate locally what I've been you know, able to accomplish uh, through the Internet. That'd be really kind of neat. As far as specific games, I'm really hot to, like, uh, you know, let me let me tick off besides just the, the, the two ubiquity ones I mentioned. Um, Broken Rooms. You know, that that's on my shelf of hope. And you know, that's a game I really, really... Uh, 
enamored with and, and find it even more compelling now, you know, uh, now that I know more of the meta plot, you know, I, I spoke to the creator of the game and uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's not in the book, but <laughs> that's, isn't that unfair? But, uh, you know, I talked to him. He, he gave me some of the ideas of the meta plot he had, you know, that he uses with it. And it is mind blowing. So I just, and I just love that, that whole, uh, that whole game, you know, you know, go figure. I made that big series on it. Um, other one is Circle of Hands. I'd like to be able to play, you know, play that, run it, you know, one of the two, uh, just to experience that, because that's another really, really cool uh, game. You know, it's one of the things I read, I'm like, wow, that's just awesome. So they're both on my shelf of hope. You know, hopefully I get to do that this year. Um, as far as, like, anything else really specific I really hope I get to do this year is, you know, I just, you know, Genesis was finally available uh, on PDF, and so I picked that up yesterday. I've been reading that and really... Uh, you know, liking that system. And like, yes, I know it, it's Star Wars, Fantasy Flight Star Wars with the serial numbers or the Star Wars filed off. It's essentially the same system. Uh, and it, it screams, you know, Pulp Heroics. You know, like when you read it, it it's, you know, you know what the feel is uh, so far that I've gotten from it is uh, it, it's if you take the feel of ubiquity and fate and put them together this is like this would be their love child it's still a it's still a game the system that uh promotes a simulationist creative agenda but it just has this you know it's pulp heroics so, you know it's yeah it's a generic system but it can't do anything but if you want to do pulp heroics in some way this is going to give you <laughs> that feel so i'm really i'm really pumped to, to play that e you know even if i just learned this and somebody says hey do you want to play edge of the empire and I'll, I'll know how to do that. That'd be, that'd be really neat. Because, you know, I got, you know, I was interested in Genesis because I didn't know if I really wanted to invest that much in just, you know, Star Wars. Because it was more the whole idea of the narrative dice system that grabbed me. So, you know, really, really hot to, uh, to check that out this year. Uh, as far as other games um, that I, you know, hope, hopefully want to at least kind of learn and maybe play. You know, there's a, I'm going to rattle off a bunch of systems I just want to learn in this coming year. You know, uh, to the point where I have like some kind of basic competence. So if somebody says, "Hey, you want to play this game?" You know, I'll be able to, uh, and just so I'll know more about them. Period. You know, Savage Worlds. You know, you know, it's not something that's grabbing me like, "Oh, I've got to learn this." But you know, I understand it's it's rather popular, so I should uh, should have a, a better understanding of it. Um, you know, basic role playing is another thing I'd really like to check out. Uh, you know, f f you know, I, I'm hoping to play some Fate. Uh, just, you know, it, it certainly is not the game that I would want to play all the time, but I like to experience it a few times, you know, um, and, uh, you know, it was made with some people that are really, you know, um, have a lot of experience with it. Although, you know, I'd be just cool running it or playing it with people that we're all figuring it out at the same time. Be kind of neat. Um, I'd like to, you know, and this is like way down the list, but I, I, you know, it's one of those, my hopes, I guess it's a shelf of hope thing. I'd like to be able to play some, uh, you know, roll and keep some 7C first edition. Maybe I can convince no inquisitor to run like a one shot of that, you know, because that's another system I look at. It's like, I don't think I'd want to play it all the time, but it looks like it would be an absolute hoot, uh, to, to play that system. So that's, that's on my list. Uh, you know, my, my friends are getting into 2D20, you know, uh, Lee, uh, Lee, your humble game master is running a lot of Conan, uh, CGA is running some Star Trek. I'd like to, you know, check that system out and, and play in, you know, a, a game, maybe both those games. It's, it's one of those systems that intrigues me. Uh, so, uh, you know, it's, it's on the kind of the, the honorable mention list for this year. Um, let's see what else, you know, uh. World of Darkness. I don't know if I'm ever going to play it, but you know, I, I you know I got the the tw the 20th anniversary um, vampire uh, PDF, and I've been enjoying reading that. You know, it's because it's just you know in, in 1990 I got married, you know, first time, and you know had kids shortly thereafter. So and my life was going in a very different direction. I was doing a bunch of different things, and so you know I kind of missed that whole era. So I'm, I'm you know it'd be kind of neat maybe to play like a game of it. I don't think I'd want to put a huge investment in it. But it's one of those things I've really been enjoying reading so far. And I'd, it'd be great if I could experience some of it. So, not really sure. Once, once again, kind of honorable mention sort of thing. Um, then, you know, shifting directions. You know, I uh, want to explore better platforms for online gaming. You know, Hangouts works fine. Well, it doesn't work fine, but it's been, it's been doing its job. It has, it's clunky. But like as an IT friend of mine said, you know, when I was complaining about it one time, he said, dude, it's free. Quit complaining. And I'm not somebody that needs or wants a virtual tabletop. Although it's, I you know watched what CGA did in his Star Trek game so far. It's really neat for like you know uh, sharing information and what have you. But you know I like just the idea of like you know better audio so we're not speaking over each other. So it's 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 low on the priority list. But you know I'm I'm keeping my eyes open if something you know pops up that makes that it facilitates that kind of gaming better. I'd really be kind of interested in that. Um, I also you know I paid for. Uh, it's cheap. It's cheap, but you know, a a, a WordPress WordPress blog 
um, site, you know, play, paid for the for the better quality or what have you, and just haven't done a darn thing with it. And you know, I, the thing is, I haven't even chosen a theme. Like I was, I'm not a luddite, but you know, I spent like about five minutes, got frustrated, and so maybe maybe somebody should show, show me like how to pick a theme. Let's just go, dude, um, because. You know, I started a thing and just never actually wrote anything, which is kind of funny. It, it always makes me laugh that I have this YouTube channel where I talk because, you know, I'm generally much a much better writer than I am, you know, uh, in person when I speak. Uh, maybe less entertaining on writing. But uh, it's something, like, I keep on meaning to, like, get started. So, you know, hold me accountable, kids. You know, let's <laughs> start writing this blog. And then uh, last but not least, certainly not least, uh, you know, this year I really want to work um, – on, you know, techniques and skills for gaming, you know, keep on going at it, you know, because, you know, I've really enjoyed being, being involved in a uh, techniques discussion group, and, you know, it's, gaming is fun, gaming is great, exploring different games, you know, is, is wonderful, um, talking about, you know, game theory is great, but actually, you know, get, you know, getting better at gaming, you know, there are techniques and skills that are just broad spectrum that you can use in just any gaming. And then there's other ones that, like, you know, they only really apply to certain genres or certain games. But I like to get better at that. I like to, you know, I think this year I want to, you know, continue to take some inventory and say, well, where, where am I falling short? Where am I not so great at? You know, what am I not so great at? What do I need to improve at? Um, what am I doing really good? You know, how can I capitalize on that? And, uh, you know, get some feedback from uh, from other people. So, you know. I want to be a better gamer, better game master, better gamer. Does that sound cliche? But yeah, those are my goals, you know. Um, and we'll see how much of those I accomplish uh, in the coming year. So, what are your goals? What do you want to do this year in gaming? Have you thought about that at all? Might be neat to uh, consider. Take it easy, kids. <laughs>